Hello everybody, first of all, happy holidays. I'm Zachary Zhao, whatever you want to call me, and welcome back to Zhao Snap. No matter what you're celebrating, I hope you're having a fantastic day or night, wherever you are. And let's get right into this deck build. So today, we're doing an Annihilus Junk deck. Now this deck will probably make your opponents want to throw their phone or whatever they're using through a wall, because I mean, it's absolutely incredible to play against, right? I mean, it's, it's just so difficult. This is the main card we're focusing this deck around, Annihilus, with the on reveal text of your card with zero or less power switch sides. Destroy those that can't. And so Annihilus, paired with cards such as Hood, Debris, uh, even Sentry, um, these cards all produce zero or negative cards, right? So Sentry adds his negative 10 power void to the right location. Uh, Hood is a, a one negative three. We get a demon to our hands, so one six, which is really good. Um, we also have things such as debris, which adds a rock to other locations. What makes this so special is that we can throw down cards like debris and sentry and hood, and then with annihilus, they will go to our opponent's side. Okay, it's 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 just insane. It's it's insane. This completely stops anything that your opponent wants to do um, because we're absolutely just clogging their lanes with negative and zero powered cards. Um, so we have Professor X in there to lock down locations, like the same thing with Storm. Um, and then we have Black Widow to stop them from drawing. Shadow King, if they maybe get something that's a little high. Green Goblin for straight disruption. Um, and then Eliath, it's always Eliath. You gotta have Eliath on six. You win the game always. Oh, every single time you win the game. Uh, that is literally the basic premise of this deck. It's not too hard to play. You literally just want to get your cards out there that causes, you know, your debris that sends out your zero cost rocks, your sentry that gets your void out in your hood, so then you can just send it back or send it to your opponent with the Nihilus. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's just broken. It, it's not fair. It's just not fair. Um, the only thing we have to look out for when it comes to counters wise or something like Cosmo that stops our on reveals um, or things even such like a Killmonger that can destroy those one cost cards so they can free their lanes back up. But that is basically it um that is literally the whole premise of the deck get these cards out send them over win the game uh, i played about me i think about 30 35 games at this point with this deck um a lot of wins not a lot of cubes because people are going to retreat a lot they already they when you when you send all those rocks over and all those zero powered cards over um people tend to retreat a lot so when it comes to cubes not the best but when it comes to wins oh yeah baby we're gonna win a lot of games um so let's get right into the game but before we do Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun jazz. I really appreciate you guys taking time to watch this on a very, very important holiday. Um, but yeah, with that being said, let's get right into the gameplay. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day. I'll see you guys soon. Snap out. All right, guys. So we're into the gameplay now. Uh, let's do it. Here we go. We're third on hood in the middle. All right. Really prefer that that didn't happen, but that's okay. Um, and we'll also throw the demon in there just so we get some power. Um, yeah, we'll just do that for right now. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, he has fist tower with the craven. Um, that's a good sign. It's definitely a good sign. Throw down debris on the right. Okay, and he's gonna pull our debris, which is okay. And we'll just black widow. Um, and we'll throw her down on the left. Clog his deck up a little bit and then get some movement up and back. There's down two cards. There's down a Silk and an Elsa Bloodstone. Okay, and then I like our position here. We're going to snap off this and then we're going to send a Nihilus in here, which is going to absolutely just clog everything up. It's going to clog like, um, like a lot when it comes to what he can do here. Pretty big vision. Okay. And I, I think he's going to move the vision. Um, and play something middle. And so that's what we're just going to Eliath. And uh, win this game. Because 
a lieth wins games, right? <laughs> he does that. Ooh, and he didn't take that into account though. He gets the Iron Lad, Nightcrawler, and we alive. See ya, Iron Lad. And there we go. There we go, guys. It's just so powerful. So, so powerful. So powerful. Let's get into another one. Let's get into another one. All right, guys. We are into another game here. And uh, again, another good starting hand. We're going to throw it on Hood right here. Um, and... Yeah, we're definitely going to not... Oh, okay. Lamentous. Okay, this is actually really, really not that bad. It could be a lot worse. Um... All right, I think we'll just throw down Demon in the middle. Oh, okay. Yeah, debris. We're gonna debris here, guys. I have an idea. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. We're gonna debris. I'm tempted here. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Um, I'm gonna sentry. Okay, he's gonna beef up that collector. And we're going to Annihilus here. Send that void over. All right, and so he, he can't play. He physically cannot play this turn. But we're gonna snap back, and I'm gonna assume we're gonna see a retreat pretty soon. I would assume. Um, or maybe he has an idea. Oh, now I'm a little scared. I'm, I'm a, okay, there we go, guys. There's another retreat. All right, so we're into another game here, guys. Um, pretty good starting hand. We're gonna throw down Greed Goblin left so that uh, he gets no more super flow. No more super flow for him at all take it away okay and so we're gonna throw down sentry throw down sentry to the middle and we'll snap off this um that's gonna put the void to the right and we'll we can viper that next turn which would be fantastic So that goes right. And uh, we'll hood here as well. Or we'll Viper here. We can also hood. Or if I, hopefully he doesn't play a card there. Even if he does, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, we'll throw down hood. And then we'll Viper. And he doesn't throw down a card there, but we can still move Jeff. So that should go over, and then the Void should also go over. Professor X, okay. Interesting, very, very interesting. Um, okay, so we can do this. And we can throw down a Professor X of our own, and then if he moves Jeff, um, that's okay. Oh, golly, a lie. Oh, golly. Um, and then, as we always say here, okay, there we go, guys. Another great game. <laughs> and there you guys have it. A Nihilist Junk. I mean, this deck just, as you saw from the gameplay, absolutely stops a whole bunch of strong and powerful decks in the meta right now. The main one being Loki, because you need that board space for Werewolf and things like that. But with that being said, this deck sometimes doesn't hit, and of course, as I said in the intro, not really a good cube gaining deck, but a fantastic win rate deck. Um, it's just so much fun to play. Um, you can really see the moment when your opponent is like, oh man, because they just can't do anything on turn six or seven because they abs you absolutely fill their whole entire board with rocks, goblins, 
uh, voids and a whole bunch of stuff like that. Um, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, thank you for taking time to watch this on a holiday. Um, I really guys hope you have a fantastic holiday, whatever you celebrate, if you're celebrating. And uh, with that being said, have a fantastic day or night wherever you are. Like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that stuff. It really, really helps me out. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.